So I'm from Pakistan. I moved to Canada 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. So I have uh, I have a situation that I have a girl who's 22, right? But she has like one, two bodies. But I also have an option that a girl is like virgin and arrange marriage. Okay. But she's a headache. Like uh, back home, girls are really headache. Like too much. Because okay. I, I, I was with a girl uh, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, been with her nine years before that, like high school, all that. And she left me for whatever fuck reason. I don't care. 10 years ago, I moved past that, all that. So most of the girls, most of my friends have the same issue. All right. So let me make sure I get this but straight. So you got you much. got one girl right now that you like but has one to two bodies, and you got another girl that's an arranged marriage virgin, but she's a pain in the ass? Yeah. All right, man. Go with the girl that you like more, bro. Simple. It's not worth the headache of dealing with a girl that's uh, going to make your life miserable. One or two bodies, I mean, hey, it, it's not and ideal, no, but it is. It, it, that's fine, bro. She'll still probably yeah. be able to pair bond with you. Uh, did she come from a good family? Too. She comes from good, what? She's coachable? She's more coachable, too. Yeah. yeah. Is, is she? Does she share, like, the same values, and does she have a family, a strong family and stuff? Uh, yeah, she has a family, the father passed away, all that, and I'm up front, everything, only fans, all that. I was everything up front with her, and she agreed everything. She tells me where she goes, all that, and yeah. I, I tell her, because I'm Muslim, right? So I had to take care of all that, too. Yeah, this is simple, bro. Take her to the masjid, go ahead and get her, uh, marry, marry her with the dean, and don't do it through the state, and you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I have another yeah. question. Just make sure that you don't okay. involve the state. Do it strictly with Sorry? religion so that everything that you do is halal, because I know you sound like a religious guy to me. But yeah, go, get get it done with the uh, with the imam and in the masjid, and you'll be fine. But just do whatever you do, not the, no pen to paper, nothing official with the state, especially in Canada, f*** that. Or in your case, the province. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I just, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, I've been watching your videos, like, since day one. I just not did not subscribe and all that. I took your advice very seriously in my business and everything. Yep. I, I agree with a lot of stuff you do. So All right. the only thing, uh, yeah, another thing, it's a little bit more personal with me. Like I have a brother who's one year older than me, right? And uh, the problem with him is he is like a simp simp. He's going to have to so suffer, bro. He is I'm gonna, married. Uh, like, before you even, dude, he's going to have to get his, he's going to have to get burned. You can't red pill people that aren't ready for it. He's got to yeah, be burned, and you got to be, and you got to yeah, be ready mom. to to give him the my solution mom. when it's there. Yeah, my mom is protecting him like a lot, and I'm I'm getting into fights, so I just stop talking to like not talking. I just don't bring up that topic with my mom anymore. Yeah, he's he's not gonna, bro. The thing is with simps and blue pill guys is they got to get burned once, twice, three times, yeah. maybe never sometimes, and that's just an uncomfortable he reality. Has. That that's the thing. That's the thing. Three times already. Two times already. Then. Bro, it is what it is. The best thing that you can do is be there for him when he's ready, for, when he's finally ready to take the red pill. And then on top of that, demonstrate through your actions and your success with your woman why having that mindset can be beneficial to him. Yeah. A lot of the times, men respond very favorably to other men that need lead by example. Okay? The reason why, for example, uh, people respect me, right? They like but the podcast, whatever, is because I show you guys what I do outside of the podcast, right? I'm in the gym. I'm training two times per day, three times per day, etc. So I'm able to garner respect through my actions of people like, damn, I want to be like him. Typically, men respect men that they want to be like. This is why guys like me are respected and guys like Abba are f***ing losers. He's over here salsa dancing like a b- Meanwhile, I'm teaching oh, you yeah. guys how to no, get the in the gym, is, how to train, etc. So my live your lifestyle, sorry. live your lifestyle, right? Show that you have a submissive, dutiful woman by your side. Show that you're dominating life. Your brother's going to see that. Trust me. And at some point, he's going to pop the question, how do I be like you? How did you get that? And then, bam, that's when you give it to him, right? Did that. Like, that, that's my issue. I did that, all that. You I have to wait, my hey, then you gotta wait, my friend. That's what it is. You gotta I, wait. I, I, I All right, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Man. You gotta, you gotta wait. Line. He's gonna. He's gonna. Like I said before, he might need to get burned seven times before he realizes that he's a retard. Yeah. 